Paper Talks. Today we're going to be talking about what happens when paper gets wet. Now, if you think back to when we were talking about the material wood, we talked about what happened when wood gets wet. We put it in water and we noticed that it floats. It basically always floats. It takes a long time for it to sink. And if you pull it back up and dry it off, well, it's basically still wood in the same shape, the same form. And if you let it dry, you can still build something with it. I wonder if that will be the same or different with paper. So let's look at some paper and what happens when it gets wet. We have a lot of different kinds of paper. We have three different kinds of paper that are meant to get wet. Watercolor paper, toilet paper, and paper towels. They're all meant to do different things when they get wet, so we'll have to see how they're different. We also have a bunch of paper that's not really meant to get wet. We have tissue paper, copy paper, construction paper, cardstock, some thinner cardboard, and some thicker corrugated cardboard. Let's start with the thickest corrugated cardboard. Now, if you look really close at the corrugated cardboard, you'll see that it has three layers. The three layers are two on the outsides and one that's all wiggly in the middle. That wiggly middle layer makes kind of some air pockets. That makes me wonder if it'll float. Okay, ready? Let's drop it in. Look, it is, it's floating on the surface of the water. Okay, let's push it down and see what happens. Oh, it's kind of floating. A bunch of air came out. I bet if we push it down again, we can make it sink. Yeah, we got all the air out of it, and now it really wants to sink, or at least halfway. And when we pull it back out, look, you can see all the water come dripping out of those holes. Let's do that again. Air comes out, water goes in, we pull it out. Oh, so much water on the inside. Remember when we were tearing paper? Well, let's see how it's changed. Oh my goodness, it's so much easier to tear now that it's wet. It's all soggy. I don't know, this wouldn't be super useful as a box to protect something in the mail anymore. Okay, let's set that aside and look at another one. What if we tried this colorful cardstock? It's a little bit thicker than normal paper, but thinner than our cardboard box. Oh, it stays on the top at first. And if we push it down, oh, no air to come out of it. It stays right on the bottom. Let's see if our other papers behave the same. This thinner cardboard. Oh, look, let's give it a little time. Oh, it kinda wants to float. Hmm, okay, let's add some more. Now, if you wanna try this yourself, all you need is a container to put water in and some paper that's okay if you get it wet. Make sure you ask a grown-up first before you go putting any paper in, just in case it's paper that nobody wants to be ruined. Okay. Let's give our paper just a little bit of time to sit and then we'll take it out and see what happens. Okay, our paper has been sitting for a little bit. Now it's time to take it out and see how it's changed. Here's that piece of cardstock. Remember how it made that sound before, where it was all crisp? Well, now it's all soggy, and I can rip it super easily. You can even see those ziggy-zaggy edges, where you can see all those fibers coming apart. Now, this cardboard has printing on one side, and that kind of protected it. That side, the water just wants to roll right off of, but the back, that part's getting wet. Ooh, that's the most crisp one. The plastic on the outside must have protected it. What about our other papers? Look how floppy it is. We can rip that really easily. It didn't make any sound. What about this cardstock? Yeah, it's all getting really soggy. <gasps> Look what happened to the copy paper. Whoa, now I can see right through it. If I put my hand behind it, you can see the shape of my hand. It's so flimsy. Look at that, it just pulls right apart. And our tissue paper? Well, it's a little firmer, but it has a lot of layers and man, it's still all wet. I don't think I could use this to write on or 
tell a story or make a card with anymore. It's kind of ruined. Now let's look at our papers that are meant to get wet. This is our watercolor paper, and watercolor paint is mixed with water, so it's really wet when it goes on. When we put this paper in water, it will get wet just like the others, but it stays really sturdy. Look at that. It still makes its stiff sounds. This paper is meant to get wet, and so when we get it wet, it can dry and still be just like it was before. What about our paper towels? When do you use them? Yeah, you often use them to wipe up water. They can soak up water, a lot of water, and still be pretty strong. Look at that. It's not falling apart the way the copy paper did. But toilet paper, it's my favorite because it does something really special when it gets wet. One moment. For this one, we're gonna put it in a jar. Toilet paper gets wet just like the others. But toilet paper is meant to fall apart when it gets wet. So I'm gonna put it in here and I'm gonna shake it. Just like it's going through the plumbing in your walls or going through the pipes or going out into the water treatment plant. Look what happens to our toilet paper. It's already starting to fall apart. And you can try this at home too. You can take some toilet paper and put it in a water bottle and shake it and shake it and shake it. It kind of takes a while to make it fall all the way apart. But just by shaking it and soaking it, your toilet paper will come apart back into fiber and water just like all paper was before it was made into paper. See it changing? It's disintegrating. Okay, I've had a lot of fun playing with water and paper and putting paper in water all sorts of kinds and seeing what happens. Now it's your turn. Ask a grown-up, make sure you're allowed to get that paper wet, collect different kinds, add them to water. See what happens in just a little time or a lot of time. See what happens if you let it sit or if you shake it up. Have fun exploring what happens when you get paper wet. Thank you.